Hi YouTube, just wanted to give you an update on uh, something amazing that happened to me. Uh, yesterday morning I almost died and I almost was uh, swept away in the flood and my God saved me. My God protected me in that time. Um, what had happened is um, I usually uh, get ready for work and leave. I get get up around 3.30 and I leave by 4.30 and I knew it was pouring down rain outside and didn't really think too much about it. 4.30 came around, I left the house and it's, I mean, it's a torrential downpour and went on down my driveway and I mean, there, there's, yeah, there's a lot of water standing in the driveway, but it's nothing I haven't ever seen before and and I got out on the main road and uh, went and left and got up the road a little ways and I discovered uh, there was a, a large, just like a, a river of water just rushing right across the, uh, the road there. I, I was like, huh, there's no way I'm driving through that. So I, I turned around you know, and uh, I don't show this part in the video, but I turned around and I went the other direction. I tried the other route there is to get out onto the main highway and it was all underwater and so I said well it looks like I'm not going to work today you know and I'm just like oh well you know and uh, I turn around to go back home well by this time my driveway had a lot more water in it and I didn't realize just how much and it's dark I can't see I got halfway up my driveway and I'm just oh I, it just looks like I'm in the middle of a lake you know and there's some driftwood in my path and I'm like I can't back up if I back up and and I miss the road at all or go crooked at all I'm gonna end up I'm gonna sink I'm gonna go out into into the river I'm gonna be gone so I'm like I have to keep going forward so I got out, you see in the video, I get out and I move the driftwood, I move a little bit further and there's more driftwood, I stop and about that time something just nails the side of my van. And so I back up a little bit, I get out and then I uh, remove that driftwood and by now the water is up almost to my knees. And the current is really strong, you see in the video, the current is really strong. It feels like it's about to try to sweep me off my feet. You can see I'm moving this entire tree just with one hand. I've got my umbrella because I'm trying to, uh, I still have my uh, work gun on. I'm trying to keep it as dry as I can while it's raining. And um, you can see I move this entire tree with one hand because the current was that strong. All I had to do is basically dislodge it from the fence post and it just washed right on across the road so now I'm freaking out and I look and, and what it was a piece of driftwood had hit my van um, nailed it pretty good ripped the bumper loose and, and uh, tore off uh, the front um, grill and so I get back in my van and I, hit, I start proceeding and I get up a little bit further and you'll see in the video the van just you can just see it just start to, to leave the, the the ground it's starting to float away and I'm freaking out and, and I just prayed all I could think of to do is say help me Lord you know please Lord help me <laughs> you know and and I, I wish I'd have seen that angel just come down and, and just push my van back down on the road because it got some traction and, and I got out of the water and uh, my uh, deer lights are gone my uh, license plate on the front is gone but I'm alive praise God so after those days says the Lord I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds I will rub them and he adds their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more now where there is remission of these, there is no longer an offer to sin. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the fruit by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us, through the veil, that is, his flesh. 
and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. For if large body of water just absolutely flowing over the road here I'm not driving through that that'll wash me right down into that ditch down there into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Not if he should offer himself often, as the high priest enters the most holy place every year with blood of another. He then would have had to suffer often since the foundation of the world. But now, once, at the end of the ages, he has appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself.
please Lord. So you see the Lord delivered me and um, got me alive in my van in mostly one piece. Uh, my advice to anyone thinking if you're ever out in that same type of situation, it's just not worth it to drive through any standing water. You just, you just don't know. Um, <clears throat> in a second I'll show you some shots uh, the next morning of the area. that. The um, news said that it was actually a record setting flood. It was uh, the worst floods in this area since they've been keeping uh, tabs, historical record of the floods. We had the worst and that was it. So um, that would explain why it was so bad. There was a lot of people getting swept away. Nobody thankfully died. Nobody, uh, there were no fatalities in this flood. Um, a lot of property damage, a lot of uh, people lost their businesses and homes and vehicles, but not a single person died, and I think that's amazing. Uh, so here's, here's a, a look at the area the next morning. Using a towel to soak up all the uh, water that was in the floorboard here. I'm trying to let it soak up. It was completely full of water in here. So the only real damage to the van, as you see, I'm missing the grill and the front license plate. It's totally gone, and my deer lights are gone. They uh, got washed down the river, I guess. And this piece here is all messed up. This was hanging out, and I just, uh, it still works. The, the light still works and everything. I just uh, glued it back up there, pushed this all, this was all out, pushed it all back up. But, um, yeah, I uh, escaped with the, uh, little damage if that's all that happened i'm just thankful so thank you for watching i appreciate you're taking the time to uh watch my video and why don't you think about subscribing most of all i just pray that you have a, a blessed day in jesus thank you god bless you